Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to October November favourites. I think the last one I did was August September. It's now mid November. So we're going to call this October November favourites. I've done a couple of these videos this year and you guys seem to really enjoy them. So I say really enjoy them. You guys seem to think they're okay. <laughs> so here I am with some more stuff I've been loving recently. There are two items in this video that have been gifted to me and when I get to them I will make that clear. I have not been paid for making this video and my opinions are my own but two of the items in this video have been gifted to me and I need to tell you that in the interest of full disclosure. So the first item that has been gifted to me, let me lean forward, is Protein World's Slender Blend. This is a meal replacement shake. I like Protein World products. I am a Protein World ambassador and you do get 40% off at Protein World if you use my code in the description box. But I'm not just a Protein World ambassador because they asked me to be. I was delighted, as you've seen in a recent video when they asked me to be, because I've already been using their products for a couple of years and genuinely love them. But I'd never used this. Why had I not used this? Because in my head, it was the meal replacement shake thing. You, I mean, you know the other well-known brand that's been around for years, that it's been around since the 80s, and, and some people swear by it and some people... And I, to my mind, I wouldn't get on with it. I like food. I like food. But when Protein World said, well, I try it, I said, why not? There's a little bit of footage coming up. It's either here or here. I never know which side it's going to end up on of me making up my Slender Blend chocolate shake. You use water. I nearly used milk. It was a good job I read the back of the packet because you use water, which keeps the calories down. It's 201 calories and you get a big glass full. You'll see in my, my blender was too full for my glass. I ended up with about a glass and two thirds, I think, out of my blenders with 400 ml of water, 50 grams of that. It was really nice. <laughs> I did. I'm probably not the world's best advert for this stuff because I'm the person who sits and goes, I didn't think I'd like it. But I didn't expect to like it anywhere near as much as I did. I knew I liked the waffle stuff they make. I knew I liked the mug cakes, but I didn't think I would love the meal replacement shake. And yet I really did enjoy it. Really did enjoy it. I had it as breakfast because in my mind, it's more breakfasty than anything else. But I suppose breakfast and lunch would be OK, wouldn't it? And it did keep me full. It's 24 grams of protein per made up shake. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of protein. And it really did help keep me full until lunchtime. I think I had a snack probably about half past 11, but that's more of a, it's more of a psychological snack than a necessary one. You know what I'm like about snacking. So yeah, my code gets you 40% off. And I genuinely have included this in my favourites video because I really did enjoy it. Very, very pleased with it. Still in the kitchen, or not rather, because I'm quite plainly in the, I call it the office. It's the hell hole. This is Mary Berry's Recipes to Inspire Light Salad Dressing. This is a brand new one, as you can see, because I have eaten an entire bottle of this in the last fortnight. Not just like, I haven't just been swigging it, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm not drinking it, but like, like taking it down in shots. But it is really nice. It's vegan approved. I didn't see that before, but it's vegan approved. The, t the writing on it is tiny. Can be used as a marinade, dip, or simply dress your favourite salad. That's what I've been doing. I've been using it as a salad dressing because it was called salad dressing and I believed her. Mary Berry. She's here somewhere. Special guest Mary Berry. I just want to say, Mary Berry, that I'm particularly enjoying your salad dressing. She's very pleased. You can see. So if you hold her against a dark background, her eyes move, look. That's quite, quite worrying. You sit there, Mary Berry, and stop frightening people. So yeah, heartily recommend that. I got it in Asda, but I'm sure you can get it in all of the supermarkets. Mary Berry's light salad dressing. Very, very nice indeed. OK, moving on to things around the house. They, they've got some very loose categorisation going on again here. First up, this. As you can see, this has had considerable use speak by the hair on the end of it. Buddy has reached an age where his body doesn't always let him know in time if he needs to go out. And if he can't find one of us to get out, unfortunately, the carpets are suffering. It's one of those things. You, I mean, 16 years old. And you accept that these things are going to happen with an older dog. You have to accept that. But carpet cleanups are a necessity. This stuff is the bomb. This is Dr. Beckman Carpet Stain Remover. They do a pet one as well, but I couldn't get the pet one last time. But this one works just as well. It works on dried in stains as well as fresh ones. It neutralises unpleasant odours and it's gentle on colours and fibres, apparently. All I know is it works. I mean, they've got somebody chucking red wine around on the label. We don't chuck red wine around in this house. We don't go anywhere near wine. But it works absolutely brilliantly on old man dog stains that's <laughs> i don't want to let's not go into detail but also because buddy's 
body is letting him down a bit and putting us all through this um i'm using a little bit more carpet freshener foam stuff and i found this one this is called designer fragrances i'm not sure who they think designed it but i got this in home bargains and the reason i'm showing you is because it's really nice and christmassy i'm not suggesting you should give it the gift it'd be a weird christmas gift but this is spiced orange i think they had something like mold fig and wine or something and something else as well spiced orange is really really nice so it's just one of those foam sprays you spray it on you leave it to dry you don't have to hoover this one off i don't think at least i haven't been yeah no need to vacuum thank goodness for that because i haven't been um one thing i do do though because we have three dogs is i only do it after they've gone out for their walk so once they've gone for their walk as soon as they've gone i give the carpets a quick blast and then it's dry before they come back because i wouldn't like it to be wet on their paws and for them to lick it off so if you've got pets bear that in mind and also i do know with any kind of spray thing you must cover an open fish tank and you must take birds out of the room i don't have fish or birds but i do know that for a fact that you must not expose the little creatures to it because they can't cope with it in their lungs God, i've turned into a public health and safety advert. anyway spiced orange designer fragrances foam blast carpet upholstery freshener from home bargains i think it's one pound 29 i was sent this this is the second item in this video that has been gifted to me again not paid but just said would you like to review it it is an air fryer liner so the company that sent it to me i'm just pulling their details up on the computer to make sure i give you the right information they sell them on amazon and they are called heater i don't know if that is the name of the whether they call this a heater or whether their company is called heater but anyway they're sold on amazon it is the air fryer silicon pot heater air fryer accessories it comes with two little snappy oven gloves again there's a bit of footage here of me using it and you can use this instead of lining your air fryer with parchment paper i got some parchment paper liners for my air fryer and i've been getting on okay with them but for any kind of greasy food the grease just runs underneath them and i'm still having to clean out the air fryer and i'm lazy moo and I, anthony's even worse than me at least i do clean it out anthony leaves it for me this catches all the grease it has can you see the ridges it has a ridged surface which means the food sits above and doesn't sit in the grease so it's good for draining but also it catches all the grease it's got the two little handles it does get a little bit warm in the air fryer but they give you the two little oven gloves as well so you can yoink it out and uh, as you can see from the footage that's wherever it is here or here i used it to cook these little kebabs it drained off all the gunk quite nicely and um, did a really really good job and then it was really easy just to take that out i washed it in hot soapy water but it could also go in the dishwasher so this is the heater air fryer accessory and they sent me it free of charge thank you so much heater for sending that i do recommend it i actually have really thought that was a good product and i do recommend it and the link for that will be in the description box below this video guys i will link other things as well if i can find them but i mean i don't think i'll be able to find stuff like this but anything else i can find i'll link for you to make it easier for you if you would like hair dye i'm including this because it is my favorite hair dye it's an ongoing favorite it's not just a october november favorite i have been using this hair dye for easily 15 years maybe more this is garnier nutrice I use shade 3.6 it's deep reddish brown i used it this morning as you can tell by the splendid lack of roots hooray for the roots gone because my roots could do grow through horribly don't know what mary berry's sniggering about she's that, that, i mean there's she's definitely dyed that hasn't she this is the one i use people ask me quite often in videos have you changed your hair color and the answer is no i've just redone it it's always the same shade 3.6 i really recommend it it leaves my hair in really nice condition it comes with the little thing of conditioner that hair dyes always do people must love those that conditioner especially well because it sells on ebay as well the conditioner sells on its own and that's not the point the point is this is the one i use it's garnier nutrice 3.6 deep reddish brown thoroughly thoroughly recommend that i really like it and something else which i know i've talked about in videos before i don't know if i've been it's been a favorites video before i know i've mentioned it is the eyelure eyebrow dye i started dyeing my own eyebrows there they are in lockdown i used to go and get them tinted before lockdown i used to go and pay something like 15 20 quid to get my eyebrows tinted and then lockdown occurred and i couldn't go and i thought i'll have a go at doing them at home i was a bit a bit apprehensive i was like what if it goes wrong and i was like i kind of thought, honestly thought if the worst happens i could shave them off and then just draw them on until they grow back it was so easy you get a little tube of the color cream i can't get it out little tube of the color cream a little bottle of the developer stuff there's a little plastic tray in there and a mascara one thing and you mix it all up and you smear it on and you leave it for five to ten minutes and voila 
dark eyebrows this is really cheap i know i've linked it before for you but i'll link this in the description box for you as well but um if you haven't been brave enough to try and tint your own eyebrows give it a go but it does recommend you do a patch test obviously you know make sure that you're not allergic to any of the ingredients let me just tick off what i've done because i've got notes i'm that i'm that organized i've got notes i've done that i've done that i've done that and that i've done that that and that back onto dogs you move i have been meaning to mention this to you guys for so long this is a joint support supplement it comes into strips it's quite large tablets we give this to kai buddy is bladder and bowel might be letting him down but his joints are just fine he's bouncing around like a like a toddler out there but kai gets stiff he's got a spinal condition called i want to say ankylosing spondylitis but i'm not sure if that's the human one that anthony's dad's got something to do with spondylosis blunt spondylosis or spondylitis it's a spine condition anyway and kai has it and it's when bits of the spine fuse together and so obviously become less mobile but he's also got problems with his hips he's an old dog as well but he's 16 kai's 13 i think so he's an old dog and larger dogs tend not to be stay as mobile to, larger dogs tend to lose their mobility more we put him on this stuff a couple of years ago this is you move plus you can get it for younger dogs as well so they, they do a whole range of supplements and perhaps if he'd, we'd started him earlier perhaps he would never have got so stiff i don't know but they do young and active adult and they do a cat one and they do a horse one if anyone out there happens to have a horse i buy it on amazon usually but there is a i'm not this is not sponsored by the way but there is a new joining offer uh if you subscribe direct on the limp bells website there's a new subscriber offer and we got a load for 10 quid so i'll try and find that link as well for you guys like i said that i'm not connected with them in any way that's not a sponsored post that's just i i this is so good we've recommended it to a couple of other people and they've also come back to us and gone that stuff is amazing so there was um there was an old female dog that used to walk up and down our road she's passed on now but she was um she got very very stiff and we recommended this to them and they put on it and you could see the change in her within weeks so if you have an old stiff dog cannot recommend this highly enough and i will link it below for you a couple of things that i've been watching i finally finished lucifer i mentioned lucifer so many times in videos because i was watching lucifer box set series one to six back to back and it took a long time took me a long time to get through it i thoroughly enjoyed it although i did think it went a bit odd towards the end it went a bit daft in the end so now i am re-watching that 70s show try and put it here for you it has um a very young oh my god what's his name ashton kutcher my brain just goes completely blank very young ashton kutcher and mila kunis in it it ran from 1998 to 2006 i'm looking at wikipedia now it ran from 1998 to 2006 so it's not new it's quite an old thing i've watched it twice before i think i've watched them all through and i watched them again and every time i watch them i thoroughly enjoy them really really enjoy them it's just a classic american comedy um kind of a bit like friends only for the younger slightly younger generation than friends and just a little bit edgier than friends i thoroughly thoroughly enjoy it and i'm, I'm about halfway through season two now so if you haven't found it have a look and see if you can watch that. I've got it on DVD, but you can stream it through Amazon Prime, apparently. So, yeah, there's that. And then on YouTube, I am really enjoying Aoi Katerina. She is... Have I mentioned her before? I don't know if I've mentioned her before. But she's a cleaner and she cleans incredibly messy homes for free. So, you know, people who've, who've got kind of mental health issues and they've let it all get way beyond anything that anyone can cope with she cleans them for free she thoroughly enjoys cleaning she really really gets it the dirtier the better she gets excited when she finds filth and i just i, I find her personality really really engaging i love watching the transformations so if you like watching cleaning videos instead of cleaning your own house you will enjoy this the other thing that i've been enjoying recently is going out to shows rather than just sitting in the house watching box sets i, I decided after lockdown that i would go to more stuff and so this year we've gone to several comedy gigs and we went to see six recently we went to see the lion the witch in the wardrobe i've made this year the year that i go out and watch things and it's a weird thing to recommend to you guys isn't it because i realize that some people may not have the finances available that's bloody pattering around by my feet some people may not have the finances available to them to be able to do that kind of thing but if you can find that money there's nothing quite like being in the theater there's nothing quite like being in the venue experiencing it live it's it's i'm thoroughly thoroughly enjoying going to things even if the things aren't necessarily things that i thought i'd enjoy in the first place i'm really enjoying getting out there in the world again and enjoying 
what the entertainment industry has to offer. They're getting back on their feet now because the inter entertainment industry was hit really, really badly by COVID. And, and it's good to see them getting back on their feet. What I am discovering is a lot of the top comics are now taking a support act where they wouldn't have had one before. So John Bishop, Jason Manford, they now have support acts and they're doing that to help prop the industry back up again. I think it's really good of them to do that because they could sell the tickets without having the support act. But it's also opened my eyes to people who I wouldn't necessarily have ever heard of. I thoroughly enjoyed the two support acts I've seen recently. So um, yeah, if you can find it in your budget to go out to shows, can't recommend it enough. Last two things, I need to go and get my boots, I'll be back. This might be a bit of a weird thing for me to recommend because I can't give you a link. I don't even know if they're still available. I got them in a charity shop. The reason I am recommending them is because they're a brand that I would never have picked up for myself. I would never have gone into... I don't even know if these are sold in store, but I wouldn't have looked at the catalogue. No, they have a little catalogue and I would have gone, no, that's not for me. That's for older ladies. Well, perhaps I am an older lady now. Perhaps that's why these work for me. They are damn art boots. I got them in a charity shop. They are the most comfortable boots ever made. Damn art have a website and of course they have those little catalogues that you get in the TV book and the Sunday papers and all the rest of it. I don't know if they have stores. It doesn't mention when they have stores. So I'm looking at boots on their website now. I can't see the exact same ones that I've got in my hand, but I can see lots of very similar ones. Are they those? Those, those could be they. They, them, they're, they're, they're not them. They're not them, but they're not that different. They're just so comfy. I mean, is this, is this a secret that everybody else knew about and nobody told me that damn art boots are the most comfy things in the world? They've got double zip and this works for me because I have one leg that inflates more than the other. So I can do this up a bit on both sides and and they fit my ankle beautifully even if it is swollen they're just i can't recommend them highly enough and i sound like somebody's nana going oh oh you want damn art that's what you want they've got lots of similar designs i'm tempted to go shopping now that i found the website i'm tempted to start buying they do different width options i don't know what width these are but they're just right for me honestly if you are a woman of a certain age and you have been avoiding damn art because you don't think you're old enough a, you might be old enough now, and B, give it a go. It's definitely worth a look. And the last thing is my checked shirt. And I know I'm wearing one, but this isn't it. I wanted to hold it up and show you, but I've packed it for my cruise. So I'm going to insert a little clip of it from the Yours Clothing website, if I can find it. I love it. It's so nice. It's a checked shirt with a button front, and it's got a little jersey hood, and it's just such a lovely shirt. And I just thought I'd mention it to you guys. It's still on their website. I've just found it's still on their website in blue, at least. They do a red they have it in red and they have it in grey last season they had it in a khaki green and that was the one i wanted and i missed out on that but i really like the blue the blue's a really nice one so i'll link this one below for you as well because i absolutely am chuffed to bits with it, it was 29.99 you can quite often find a yours discount code if you wander around on the internet you can like quite often find a discount code for yours and get a couple of quid off that's it that is everything i wanted to share with you in this favorites video I just want to thank again at the end here, Heater for sending me the silicon air fryer basket and Protein World for inviting me onto their ambassador team and sending me the Slender Blend. I've got plans for that for when I get back from cruise. I've got a feeling we might have to do something drastic about the diet and that might come in handy. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.